Hello my sugar plums, welcome back to my channel. Today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a unique tall floor vase uh, using very minimal material and super easy and extremely cheap. Now first thing that I did, I went to Ikea and I bought like a pack of those uh, very, um, those, those MDF board. I think they use for like um, on the back of like, um, of um, bookshelf or TV stand something like this but the pack come in four so I'm gonna be using two of the board and what I'm doing right now I'm just cutting the board uh, in two and I'm using uh, like a ruler and a pen to mark you know the center part the board itself is like 22 and a half inches so I'm going to, I'm going to cut it uh, right in the middle which is 11 and one quarter and then once I finish marking uh, the middle part I'm gonna trace it I want my vase to be super Super tall but uh, you know the board was so big so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it so I can use it as um, you know one for two guys I'm showing you my little uh, portable circular saw that I got from Amazon guys and this thing is a lifesaver if you're DIYers just like me and you're not a professional or you're a professional or you don't have like you know a, a big amount of space to um, the de dedicated for your uh, you know DIY so this one is really good for you guys and it's super cheap it's a lifesaver as you can see you have a laser uh, option which is making uh, you know cutting uh, very very easy for you guys so I'm gonna Gonna go ahead and cut this in two and like I mentioned before I'm gonna use two board for making a pair of vase but because I want my vase to have like a rectangle shape not a square shape so I'm gonna be using like some leftover uh, pine wood that I had and I'm gonna cut and size it to uh, to the board um, to the to the FD MDF board so that way I can have a rectangle shape instead of a square shape. But if you want to go and have like a square shape uh, vase or you can turn into a planter, it's just up to you guys. You can cut, you know, your... Um, your wood um, to the size that you want. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my circular saw again to cut my uh, wood pieces to the you know the right size that I want. After I finish doing that, guys, all I'm gonna be doing is uh, I'm gonna be using three pieces for each one of the uh, vase. Um, basically, I'm gonna be using two long one that's gonna be on the side and a shorter one that's gonna be at the bottom to make the base of the vase. Now, uh, so technically, you're gonna need like six pieces um, total for the um, sol solid um, piece of wood that you're gonna need two small one and four big ones and I'm showing you right now I'm gonna be go ahead and use some screw and wood glue to uh, you know put my vase together so once I'm finished doing uh, doing that part guys all I'm gonna be doing right now I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint the both of the vase in like a uh, silver um, uh, like a chrome metallic silver uh, spray paint color because I'm gonna be using um, uh, mirrors and some like loose gemstone and because I'm gonna have those vase you know on on my in my living room next to my entertainment center so I wanted it to be like a, a cohesive piece because my entertainment, uh, entertainment center uh, have like that same look so I, I was going for that same look but again guys everything like I said before it's up to you how you choose to decorate your vase so right now I'm showing you after the, the paint is completely dry this is what the vase is looking like and as you can see guys it's a very very tall now I'm gonna be using some uh, marine grade uh, silicone to uh, glue my um, my uh, pieces of uh, broken mirrors but again guys any strong adhesive like a 6000 can do so just use whatever you have that's what I have so that's what I'm gonna be using I'm gonna go ahead and use this guys and I'm gonna be doing a mirror on uh, the two sides and the front part only now the back part I'm not gonna put any mirror on it so in the front part guys I'm just gonna go ahead and do like a drawing of another vase inside it so but this part is optional also guys you can do any type of drawing you want you can do flowers or whatever you want guys whatever you know your style is but I wanted to have like a vase like sitting um, inside the big um, square or rectangle uh, shape vase so guys i'm gonna go ahead and let you watch this part and i will be right back to show you the next step there's 
a little girl in skibbereen with flowing hair and ragged jeans and floating in a vivid dream as classes go by. And every day at three o'clock, she's out the door and down the block and hurries to the river dock with a gleam in her eyes. And everything's fine for the day. There's nothing to get in the way of her smile and there's never a care for tomorrow. Cause Molly's a princess today. Oh! a castle wall 47 miles tall the river's got a waterfall the moat is so deep the cedar trees are canopies a ceiling made of needle leaves a buzzing fleet of honeybees are guarding the keep and no one can take this away it's locked in her mind and can never escape and there's never a care for tomorrow cause molly's a princess today oh Okay guys, so after we finish doing this, this is what the face is going to be looking like. Now again, I'm going to go with my sparkling paste and then I'm going to go ahead and fill the crack in between the mirrors. Now you can use grout if you want to, but I like using the uh, sparkling paste. And besides, that's what I have at home. It's not done yet, so I'm going to use it until it's finished. And I love using it because it's more lenient when you come to removing it later on. Sometimes I leave it overnight and I still can be able to remove it like very smoothly the next day. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, do this for both of the vase and then I'm gonna let it uh, dry for a couple of hours then after that I will go with some uh, um, water and um, like a, a piece of uh, microfiber cloth and I'm gonna completely remove the extra paste that's on the mirror and then once we finish doing that I'm gonna let it dry for like a few hours before I move to the next step guys now the next step also it's very optional because I'm gonna be using some epoxy on my vase now the reason I'm saying it's optional is because i had those ep that uh, epoxy for well over a year and i wanted to uh, completely use it because it's been sitting there and i completely forgot about it until i found it again a few days uh, earlier when i was uh, cleaning my uh, supplies room and then i saw it so i wanted to use it but this part guys you don't have to go and buy some epoxy if you don't have it or if you don't want to use it you can just use like a regular uh uh, liquid silicone glue or mud patch to fill up uh, the inside of your vase but i'm going go, gonna go ahead and use uh, epoxy for two reasons because first i already had it at home and second i had like some um sharp um um, edges on the corner of my vase and because I have small children that love to touch anything so I wanted to go ahead and encase the mirror inside the epoxy though, so that way even if they touch it it's going to be completely smooth they're not going to be able to cut themselves now my epoxy is one to one uh, ratio so I'm going to go ahead with a small um, batch first and I'm mixing a small batch and then what I'm going to be doing I'm going to go ahead and use like a very thin layer inside the uh the drying of the vase and then i'm gonna fill it out with the uh, loose acrylic gemstone and once it's completely filled out and i'm satisfied with the amount of gemstone that i have in it i'm gonna let it cure for about like an hour before i went with a big batch of uh, the epoxy mixture and i'm gonna pull it all over the surface of the the vase including the side i'm gonna brush the epoxy all over the mirrors and make sure that it's like well, we have like a very nice thick even layer on the whole surface so that way when it's dry the mirror itself is gonna be you know encased inside the epoxy and it's gonna be super super beautiful guys so thank you so much guys for being here i'm really 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 happy to have you back if you're new to my channel please go ahead and do me a favor and Go ahead and subscribe to my channel like this video if you do don't forget to click on the notification button to um be notified on all my future upload guys and also we are going to do another giveaway on this channel so make sure you stay at the end of the video to find out how to participate in the giveaway guys it's super easy i just wanted to thank you guys so much for being here so i'm gonna go ahead and let you watch this part and then i'll come back to show you the next step that i did and cold when your heart
heart grows up and gets old. The dreams of your past never quite seem to last in a future that's so far away. But here in this place, you know, Molly. Princess today. In a little while, it's. As you can see, guys, this is the next day because you have to let your epoxy uh, completely cure overnight. Depend on, you know, where you live, you know, if it's warm enough. But again, my epoxy dry overnight and this is what it looks like in the morning. I absolutely love using epoxy, guys. Even you you see it's like the mirror, it, make, it makes the mirror more shinier. It's so beautiful. Now for the creation, guys, I'm going to be using this beautiful bling wrap that I found on Amazon. I'm going to be using my old bling wrap also from Totally Dazzle. I'm going to be using as well my little sticky uh, gemstone from Amazon as well and guys if you don't know i always buy everything on amazon and also i'm gonna be using uh some mirror mosaic towel the silver kind from also i bought those from amazon and last but not least i'm gonna be using my uh like it's in mirror acrylic shade uh sheet um on lays that i got from amazon guys everything that i use i'm gonna uh, put it in the, the description box below for you guys if you want to go ahead and check them out or buy them out and uh, as you can see the those uh, acrylic mirror sheet they look like the real thing so i'm gonna be using them now what i'm doing right now i'm just gonna go and cut my mirror mosaic towel in like singular strips and i'm gonna go ahead and do like a border around like the the vase uh, that's inside my vase <laughs> and then the reason i'm doing that is just to clean it up and make it more pronounced and more defined and i'm gonna go ahead and do that all around the vase to give it like a very nice divine uh defined shape and also for the acrylic um not the acrylic the sticky uh the, um, gemstone i'm gonna go ahead and use like i'm gonna cut the uh, cut it in a strip of two rows and i'm gonna go ahead and create a border around like the whole um the whole uh, vase the rectangle vase itself not the vase that's inside my vase and i'm gonna, gonna create a border for this whole part uh with this like i'm showing you right now and then once i finish doing that i'm gonna be using the uh the acrylic uh onlay um to um uh, put them like four i'm gonna use be using four and i'm gonna do two at the bottom and two at the top guys i'm gonna go ahead and let you watch this part again guys i'll be right back to show you what i did next in her time she leaves the kingdom in her mind a bookmark and the storyline the chapter is done the mystery of what will be tomorrow when the clock strikes three there beneath the cedar tree the princess will come and there's nothing that she couldn't do when she closes her eyes and imagines the view and there's never a care for tomorrow because molly's a princess today yeah well there's never a care for tomorrow Cause Molly's a princess today Oh la 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 All right, guys, so moving on, now we're going to go ahead and decorate the uh, the mouth, the inside edge mouth of the vase in the back of the vase. And for this, I'm going to be using my pretty uh, bling wrap that I got from Amazon. And I'm going to be using, um, putting it inside the mouth of the vase as well on the back of the vase at the, uh, like to create like a border at, on the back. And then on the inside part, I'm just going to go ahead and respray the uh, silver spray again just to make it nice and clean. And after that, we are done, guys. Now, thank you 
you guys so much for being here now for the giveaway guys all you have to do is subscribe to my channel make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you have the notification and all button turned on and also guys make sure you like this video and as well make sure you leave me a comment on the video as well that's all you have to do and uh, the from we're gonna go ahead and give a $50 Amazon gift card for you guys to use on whatever you need that's all you have to do guys to uh, and I'll be choosing the winner next week when I post my next video it's nothing much guys we are not a big channel we're not making money on YouTube yet we are doing this just because we love doing it this is my way of thanking you guys for being here for liking my video for all the comments for everything guys it's very 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 important important and satisfying for like any content creator when somebody watch their stuff so it's my way of thanking you guys so all you have to do again is subscribe to my channel you know um have your notification turn to all like this video and leave me a comment guys and i'll get, let you know which one of you is the winner next week now this is it guys this is the finished result as you can see the vases are very tall and when you look at them from, from far away you can see almost like the shape you can see like the vase that's in the middle that is all gemstone it's almost it's not there it's almost it's a hollow so that's what i was going for guys this is a unique very unique looking vase guys and i really really love it and you can leave it just like this or you can put like some any like flowers or decoration on it later on i just went and put some like golden like like stray um branches on them so that's what um my vase is looking like guys i hope you like this video if anything guys i'll see you next week and thank you again for being here guys and as always be blessed and stay blessed guys i love you so much i'll see you next week Mwah. bye Girl on skibbering with flowing hair and ragged jeans And floating in a vivid dream as classes go by And every day at three o'clock she's out the door and down the block and hurries